Hello there, my dear friends. El Rabbit is certainly not dead. El Rabbit is truly back. And I'm bringing you all the latest updates in this video where we'll take a look at the new operating system they've just announced. First, let's watch the launch video for this OS2 operating system announcement and let's see what we now have on our Rabbit. I've already updated the Rabbit, so I'm going to show you everything. Stick around if you want to see it. All right, so here we have the Rabbit announcement and as you can see, OS2 Plus Creations is the new thing they've released. Let's take a quick look. We don't need to watch the whole thing. If you want to see it, you can find the launch video here on Twitter. I'm going to put on my headphones so I don't disturb anyone. All right, here. Basically, they're talking about everything people thought about the Rabbit and how they've completely changed the concept people had of the device. This person here is Jesse Liu, who is the CEO of the company. He has been heavily criticized because before this, let's remember, they were involved in the whole NFT thing. And people weren't too happy about it because they thought the Rabbit R1 was just another scam. And well, he's been heavily criticized for that, but they've stuck with it. Honestly, they've kept going for over a year now and they're about to launch the operating system update, which we hope will be a good thing. Let's skip ahead a bit in the video so I can show you. What is it that they've released? Basically at the beginning, what he's talking about is everything they've been adapting. What they did was quickly launch the product, quickly launch the device and see how people interacted with it. And people would say, hey, I'm missing this, I'm missing that, something else. Here, as you can see, there's the release notes for Rabbit OS where you could directly send a note and say, hey, I want this, I want that, and they'd add it. Look, if you notice, it says here, missing features. And it listed the things that people needed. And it's true that they've been adding all of these things over time. Alarms, reminders, things like that, image generation connected to mid journey. Honestly, all of that has been working quite well. And what they're launching now is operating system two which as we can see, still has the same look and feel. So Rabbit Colorita always likes this VHS touch, always in their videos and all that. And let's see what's new that they've added. All right, quick settings. This, as I understand it, is what they've added when you swipe. Notice that now you can swipe and directly adjust the volume and brightness. If any of you have followed my previous videos, you'll remember that both the sound and the brightness were adjusted by pressing the button and turning the dial up or down. And those things honestly are a bit a pain to do. Honestly, instead of pressing the button and doing it here because I can't do it. Just like on a phone, well, let's take advantage of the touchscreen to be able to do those kinds of things. Now, this is the conversation mode. They've added the option to enable or disable the volume so it's not always on. So instead of always replying with audio, you can have it directly in text. And besides that, they've managed to significantly reduce the latency. In the end, it's connected to the OpenAI API. And what we had before was super slow latency that took about five seconds to respond to anything. When on a mobile device, it was already super fast. Now this responds much faster and much more efficiently. All those features we had before, like having to tell it, open the Spanish to English translator. Now we have all of that as little cards, like a drop down, like a menu that you open and it appears just as we see here on the screen. If there's something you don't want, a card you want to discard, like remove it, right? We swipe to the side, just like on a phone and that's it, done. Now you have all the photos from the magic gallery. I'll show you that. Now you'll see that you can both access the photos and see which one was the original photo. Let's remember that this has a 12 megapixel camera and that's what you use to take photos. They go through magic camera and it gives you back a pixel art image or in whatever style you choose. And this worked with DALI 3. Here we have all the voice recordings that have been saved like recorded meetings and so on, which you can later query. I didn't quite catch that part. Let's see. I think it's referring to connecting directly with the phone. Internet. I haven't tried this, honestly. And if I don't have time to test it. Internet. But I'm not sure if it's referring to the internet. I don't think so. Well, I'll have to try that in the next video because I won't have time in this one. All right. All right. These wonderful creations in these amazing creations. What we have is... 
All right, the first byte coding device. From what they're saying, what they want is to set themselves apart from phones. They're always looking for that. The company has always aimed for that from the very beginning. So what they do here is let you create new cards. Within creations, you can ask it to create something new. It starts a chat where it asks you a series of questions and answers to figure out exactly what you want. And then it builds it in the background using byte coding and gives you something you can run from this interface. I haven't tried that yet either, and I doubt I'll have time in this video, but I promise I'll cover it in the next one. And the good thing is that you can also use all the creations made by the community and kept inside its ecosystem. So I think that's pretty good. Other than that, it has everything else. Here, as you can see, it requested the creation and it made a cyberpunk. It took four minutes to do it, and now it has a game you can play from the rabbit, which many people said looked like a tech toy, but you couldn't play with it. So what was it for? Well, now I can play with it. Well, apart from all that, I think the most striking thing is going to be the creations. The operating system, in the end, still shows us everything we could do before, but in a slightly more, well, they've also improved things like latency, all those kinds of things, and they've also done a good job with translations and all that. We'll see how it evolves. I'll let you know if I end up using it more, because lately I haven't been using it at all. I've always tried to use it from the very beginning, but honestly, the opportunity for it to work perfectly just hasn't come up. So that's it. We'll see how it uh, develops and I'll see you in the next video where I'll show you a bit more from the inside. I'm going to show you some videos now of how I installed it and everything. There was nothing to it really. Just connect the device to the power, start charging and it will immediately give you the option to update. It asks you to update so you just hit update and once it's connected to Wi-Fi you can update the entire operating system. It takes a while to download, and once it's finished downloading and installing, you can start using it, and that's it. Here it is. So that's it. I'll see you in the next video. I don't want this one to get too long. And remember, subscribe if you want to see more, leave a comment, like the video, you know the drill. Ramon Teleco, here for the world. Bye.